the thing that I really like when I'm traveling. Small little detail, but mm, absolutely love it. Welcome to Kuala Lumpur, by the way. And that is to buy takeaway coffee. And today, also for my parents-in-law, so four cups of coffee. Good vibe. Can I get four grande cappuccinos and one with extra shot? There's just something with this feeling of ordering like take. I think I have it from the movies. I remember watching Will Smith coming like home with four cups of coffee. I think I got it from there. Like <laughs> that's why this gives me a good vibe because it's just like something that I dreamed of when I was a young teenager to do that. Back then I didn't even like coffee. But even though this is a very nice beginning, today is actually quite a sad day and you will understand later in the edit. <laughs> Expedition. Have a good day. And we made it to one of the most famous tourist places or a temple in Kuala Lumpur, Batu Caves. So if you're ever visiting Kuala Lumpur, I will highly recommend to take a little trip to this place. It's a beautiful place, a very nice place to take photos and stuff. But this color stairs is amazing. Just remember, especially if you're a girl, you have to cover your knees. So don't show up here in short shorts or a short skirt. You want to have a long dress or pant. If not, you can always buy a skirt to put around you. But yeah, it's very cool, very cool. A lot of people though, a lot of people. Just so you are aware if you visit this place, this place is full of monkeys and they can be quite aggressive. So don't bring any snacks. Eh? The moment you bring snacks, they will come to you straight away and they will attack you also if you touch it. Last time I was here, there were a person wanted to touch it while taking a photo. He got scratched back. You don't want to have that, but look at this guy. Eh? He got some orange. He's happy. <laughs> But they are indeed very used to people, so that's nice, but uh, they are wild animals. Eh? So just as you know, if you visit this place. So for us, living in South Lombok, doing public transportation, it's a huge, it's a cool thing. <laughs> so we're like, that's like a happening being in Kuala Lumpur just to drive trains and subways and all public stuff. And that is that building right there. The finger as someone call it, or the Merdeka building, which is the second tallest building in the world at the moment. It's 678.9 meters tall, insanely high. <laughs> and it's 118 floors, which is insane. So uh, if you want to see the second tallest building in the world after Burj Khalif in Dubai, you have to go to Kuala Lumpur. Also on the other side of the building here, we have the world famous Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur that also used to be one of the tallest buildings in the world. Not anymore, but uh, they are still very cool to look at. Now, back to the... So now we have made it to the <laughs> little tough thing. The sad thing that is happening today, as I mentioned, all these parents are leaving for Norway now. It's been two and a half weeks that they've been here with us. It's been amazing. And now it's at least one year till we see them again. So it's, it's hard. Yeah? That's part of the life that we've chosen, but it's hard. You can see, yeah, I will for sure start crying today. Already starting.
Yeah, let me know.